Hello everyone and welcome to my basic Realm of the Mad God guide. I'll be going over a few basic things that you'll need to know while starting your Realm of the Mad God journey. Some of the things that will be covered include classes to never use because they're absolutely terrible, how to change your potions slash nexus hotkey, and a helpful glitch that will allow you to store more potions. Alright, let's start. Alright, to start off we have the classes that you should never, ever use. Alright, so classes that you should never use. Personally, my favorites to use are the Rogue and Necromancer, and that is only because I'm actually pretty decent with them. Uh, ones that I absolutely cannot stand, ones that I highly advise you to stay away from, are the Trickster, which nobody likes because he is possibly the worst class in the game. Second to the Ninja, because the Ninja is absolutely terrible. I don't even want to play as him. Because, well, he's just, he's terrible. There's no reason you should ever use the ninja class unless you just want to get stars. I mean, seriously, that's probably the only reason. Uh, the runner-up to these two is the mystic, and the mystic is pretty bad. I mean, all it does is really annoy people. And I'll tell you what the specials do. The trickster... His special allows you to teleport to wherever your cruiser is, and that, that could be helpful, um, but then again, it's not at the same time. You'd think it would be, but it's really not. The ninja, it throws a star that does a certain amount of damage depending on what your star is. Um, it's really not good. <laughs> the mystic just turns stuff into stone, so, I mean, if you really want to annoy people go to, say, a haunted cemetery, right? You go to a haunted cemetery, yeah? And then you turn, like, the boss into stone, and then you just keep doing it over and over, and people will get pissed at you, and everyone gets pissed when other people do it, and that's pretty much why you shouldn't use the mystic. So, yeah, stay away from these classes. All right, now I'm going to show you guys how to set your hotkeys to help you out. One of the best things you can do to prevent yourself from dying is going into your little toolbar, which you can do by pressing O, or you could go up to this little options button in the Nexus and you can click that. And then I want you to go over to hotkeys. Now once you go over to hotkeys, what you do is you're gonna switch buy health potion in to something that's right next to your moving keys. So you can be moving around, you can just hit it when you need it. I have mine on E, so when I'm moving around I can just hit E. Magic potion, not as important to me because I'm usually a rogue, so I hit Q now and then you go through all this and you'll see this one down here escape to nexus this is vital always choose that to be pretty much directly to the right so i i chose f because my moving keys are w a s d so i if i need a nexus i'm just like nexus i'm there i'm in the nexus and i'm going to show you guys that helpful glitch i was talking about that'll help you carry more potions than you're supposed to so what you do is you you're walking around, right? You're walking around and you see a health potion on the ground because you killed something. Now you can either double click it and it'll put it in here or you'll see it on the ground, you'll drag it up here and it'll still put it in here. But there's a glitch you can do, right? So you're walking around, you kill something and you see this health potion. You drag that on top of it, could be any item, and you'll have it in here now. Now if you try and move it anywhere else, it'll go in there. And you can't do it the opposite way, like you can't drag the health potion on top of a sword. Uh, you got to drag your item on top of that and then you can pick your item back up and then you can always use it by just double clicking it or anything so well double clicking it because I'm full health and just put it back in there but you understand what I'm talking about thank you for watching my first realm of the mad guy guide video hopefully this helped you uh, if you want to see the rest of them where I take the characters class by class please subscribe